What's going on, guys? It's your boy Deceptive here. And you know what? I've come to a little bit of a thing of... I haven't really done much in the way of the game synced. Uh, I play it. I enjoy it. I mostly do the PvE side. I don't do the PvP side. And so I found out a little way of how to generate um, some... Uh, uh, basically, they've got a little gotcha game. Here, I'll, exp I'll show it to you. Uh, basically, if you go over to your weaponsmith, first things first, go to the weaponsmith, go to Eli, who for some reason looks like um, a, a Twitch streamer that I follow. So anyway, uh, if you want to know how to get the, the, the better weapons, like the split ender, and uh, I believe I've got a gold snap rifle too, yeah, and the supernova and things like that. You get weapons like this through the gotcha game and how you get them so instead of just using the gray common weapons that uh, i mean don't get me wrong they're good weapons they are good weapons but you always want to have that little extra and so hence this is why you do the gotcha game now how you can spend real money so first things first i haven't spent a penny in this game yet 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 bear in mind as you guys know if i enjoy a video game I will put money into that video game. I want to let the game. I want to let the publisher know that I enjoy the video game. That I want the game to be around for a lot while longer, etc., etc., etc. So, case in point, if you want to get some decent weapons, as far as I know, I don't think there is a gold LMG. And if there is, oh my god, Park would be unstoppable. But um, anyway, when you start doing missions like the Tyrant Run and things like that, you're going to get. Uh, mod drops you're going to get weapon blueprint drops and eventually once you get enough blueprints to unlock say uh, um, no filter this poor thing you pull the trigger it fires all 45 bullets it does not stop <laughs> click that's it that's all it does it's just don't use it. it it's it's okay if you want to do damage in bursts but that's ultimately what it's for other than that don't worry about that anyway point is so say you want to unlock these weapons how do you unlock these weapons without spending money well case in point i'm about to show you what you do is you go over to here and this is the uh, automat. This is how you do it. See these little balls? Remember it, it, as a kid, you'd go to the, the carnival and they'd have those weird machines that you put money in and you turn and you get like a little kinder egg thing. You crack it open and you've got a useless toy inside. Very similar to that. So what you want to do is you will get tokens through doing daily mission. You'll get tokens through doing uh, um, uh, missions and, uh, 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 and rewards. Now what I mean by that is... If you go over to your main chick here and you press R and go to the battle pass, notice right there, there's a token. Now, I'm currently level uh, 60 something. I think I'm 62, 63. But if you scroll back, see, you will get free tokens. You don't have to buy the battle pass. Now, you can. I mean, you can unlock the battle pass. Um, and I believe the battle pass is like, I think it's like 24. 20 bucks 25 bucks it's something that i'm actually thinking about going to be buying because again end of the day i want to let the, the i want to get my money's worth and how i feel i get the mon my money's worth and see and as you look if you bought the battle pass you start unlocking them now what if you've already got them unlocked well you get blueprints now these blueprints you can use as you saw over here so say I've got a blueprint for this guy. You press F to augment and you spend them here. So obviously I've got zero, as you can see, cost to augment, red zero out of 10. But if I did, or I unlocked the gun again, you get 10 blueprints instantly. So you can level them up to tier five. Okay, and at tier five, I get an extra refractor beam. I do an additional 175 damage at range. Um, and while I'm unshielded, I do 32% more damage, um, things of that nature. So, uh, and then these are just your levels. Okay, so the more you spend levels in second point, if I want to level up, there we go, we just leveled up. Not enough AR chips. That's fine. I'm down. I, I, I've got to do some more uh, grinds to get my AR chips up. But the point is, that's how you would do it. Now, what if, like me, your SMGs are maxed out? Okay, case in point, this thing I got and I don't use, I just got a lot of chips for it, is maxed out. So, if I go to the laundromat 
and I get that weapon, it immediately is converted into 10 chips. Okay, into 10 blueprints. I then come here. Okay, take a look. And then right there, I press X. And then I go max, confirm. Now it's confirmed, turned them into component shards. Okay, now what you do with your component shards is you then go over here to this lovely little Irish lass. And then you go over to uh, component shards. And oh look, I've got 38 component shards. I can buy one of these for 30 or I bought the max, which is 10 for this for for this month. You can only buy a, a certain amount per per 10 days. I think it's every 10 days or, or, or 15 days. Well, I've maxed out on the red. Okay, but it doesn't mean I can't max it. And I can buy 20, I can buy 30 of these. Okay, so in theory, let me buy one. There you go, I've bought one. So let's go spend it. Okay, so I'm going to go over to this machine. I'm going to go draw one, please. You get this little fun animation. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, depending on the color that you, that you get, if you get like a, a gold or a red, you've gotten a gold or a red drop. This is a common drop. So I got sniper chips. Great. Now, best thing about this is they have auto rewards. And what that means is after X amount of draws, okay, I'm at 82 pulls. At 800 pulls, I unlock a really cool skin for the doctor. At 400 skins, I unlock this new cool backpack. And at 200 spins, I, I get the all homemade weapon, which I don't know what that is. I think it's a, a, a variant of the um, auto locking AK. Um, but point is, you get a you get rewards for playing the, for, for unlocking the game. Now, of course, I've got three extra pulls. So you know what? Let's do that. Let's pull. I'm gonna let the animation play so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see how it's changing weird colors. And this is another common pull, I believe. Yep, common pull. What's that? Oh, SMG chips. Don't care. Now, you cannot exchange uh, uh, weapons chips, just the blueprints. Okay. Another common pull. And that's fine. Oh, pocket rocket. Actually, no. That's just converted to 10 chips for me. Because my pocket rocket is maxed out. That's an LMG that fires missiles every 10 shots. So every 10 shots of the regular bullets, it will fire a, a, a missile. Okay. And more SMG chips. So let's see what I'm talking I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we'll go over here. And if we go to our. Oh, look, right there. Pocket rocket, 10 chips. Hit it, X, exchange, max out. Now I've got 10. Do you see? Now, as you can see, I've got tons of SMG chips. For some reason, this game just wants me to, to play SMGs. And that's fine. So. At the end of the day, guys, this is how you can get the weapons. This is how you can unlock really cool weapons to play in PvE and PvP. Now, I, again, as you can see, I'm doing the Tyrant Run. Now, let me show you my build. Now, you're thinking, how the hell do you get yellow mods? You get yellow mods through playing the, the PvE game. Just trust me on this, okay? Now... The more you play, the more you unlock. Now, again, I specifically look for specific mods to run with specific people. And if you look, I've also got multiple loadouts with different equipment. Okay. Case in point, Park, who uses the pocket rocket, because his specialty is LMGs. Deadcut, whose specialty is ARs. Glory, whose specialties are sniper rifles. Doc, whose specialties is supposed to be, if you watch the videos, it, it, it when they do video clips they're showing you doc using sniper rifles but he does not use sniper rifles that well he uses shotguns okay and the automatic is just that it's an automatic shotgun that fires off a shockwave every time you're you're firing it will randomly shoot out a shockwave and knock enemies down it's called regina smgs layla she's supposed to use her katana like melee weapons but the point is there's no melee main weapon series so you can throw whatever you really want in there for me i've given lena uh, um uh, the gr uh, the grenade which is basically a sniper rifle that actually fires grenades it's basically a grenade launcher uh, but it has a really slow reload so you get five shots and then you spend like i think it's like six seconds reloading the damn thing it is slow as hell to reload but the point is it does a lot of damage and so you can work on different loadouts and different styles. This is a loadout i'm working on for uh pve uh that works with just using 
hard hitting crits boom 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 resets my grenade so i can throw my grenade and do more damage over time which stacks up with crusher and and eventually you just become a juggernaut and what i mean is it, it, in fact i'll load this one up for you so we'll go to select load out confirm okay so if you look okay runner explosive damage runner damage runner shockwave damage runner energy damage the reason why i haven't re-rolled this is because again this vest works with at least three other four other builds that i've got and until i get a secondary uh, version of this vest i'm not gonna roll it don't roll your mods okay uh, especially your yellow and red mods until you've got at least two of them okay that's i cannot stress that you always want to have a backup okay in case you roll wrong or roll bad okay just trust me on this okay now this one as you can see uh, this one is my knockback one this one actually works well uh, for crowd control now what i mean is your first six shots after reloading have a chance to trigger a knockback trigger rate is 40 percent knockback damage is 35 that stacks quite high with um case in point uh, that will stack quite high with the grenade launch because there's only five rounds in it six shots only five in the gun so i've now got a passive 40 percent chance of knocking back the enemy with a blast so it it, it 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 just stacks it's a really cool combo that you can stack with um and then of course i've got um uh, prime stunner which is spread stun to nearby nanos while eliminating a stunned nano trigger rate is 80 percent stun damage is additional 20 with my companion getting doing additional armor damage twice and explosive damage and critical damage so this works actually quite well with crusher as well as with um suppressor okay because suppressor does shock blast wave projectiles so if you really want to have some fun you can use you can again that's why when you roll mods and it works for two of your your nano pets keep it until you get a second one and then roll on that and if it's specifically tailor-made for say guardian or seer keep it for just guardian or see if you're a seer or a guardian fan i love guardian as you can see he's blocked almost half a million damage for me because i were i use seer uh uh trust me on this seer is the one you want to use as you're leveling up from the beginner dead zone sectors because again you're going to need all the defense you can get now once you're at the point where you can offset that weakness of defense by using uh, certain mod mods and whatnot look at using suppressor look at using crusher look at using seer seer is predominantly used in pvp because because seer can spot cloaked uh, uh runners so Layla is basically useless if someone's running a seer because the seer will go she's right there so she can stand there and try and cloak all she wants her ability is nullified seer is literally designed to nullify Layla. okay crusher is designed to nullify guardian suppressor is designed to nullify uh uh, 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 uh seer there's the, the, it, it it's a rock paper scissors style game so you've got to figure out what works for you and so me personally i like using crusher with uh a codec uh, uh with a dead cut now again park is my favorite because lmgs and park equal your set for dps you've just got to figure out what mods work best for you now as you can see i do have some lesser mods i still keep some purple mods why look lmg damage nine percent sniper rifle damage three percent runner damage over time so if you're if you if you runner like a uh, 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 light dead cut who throws a, a, f a flame grenade or there's the chick who throws the poison grenade that damage stacks for an additional six percent six percent doesn't seem like much but it does when you're fighting a boss who has hundreds of thousands of hit points okay that's a good 13 14 15 thousand damage okay just by having the correct mod on okay same as over here i've got you know companion knockback damage again works well with crusher because crusher has a lot of knockback damage uh, uh, abilities and companion damage over time again that also works well with with uh, 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 crusher because crusher can get the flame claws again that's dot and and it increases his health by an additional 20 percent so just because the mod is is purple doesn't mean that the mod is crap right right here uh when i, I use these uh, uh skill thrills 
specifically with park because park again when you reload boom i've got 40 percent extra damage for another 20 seconds so again park and throw his electric grenade that's an additional 20 percent damage and it all stacks up to the point where i'm now doing a thousand to eleven hundred damage on a crit on a on, on a known weak spot on an enemy boss i have shredded bosses with park and the right skill set so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how uh, i do it with um uh, with dead cut so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this dead cut build okay now the reason why i like this dead cut build is you're gonna see why okay that's all i'm gonna say you're, is you're gonna see why okay so i'm gonna just hit w hold down q to go to a quick match which is again uh, it's a tyrant run so you're gonna see me play the tyrant run now i do it solo now and yes i am solo you don't see any other players squatted with me okay now the reason why is mostly because well majority of my friends don't play this game but most importantly i just wanted to show you guys in this video how do it now, this is going to be a long video i do apologize for that guys if you've got a short iq i'm sorry find someone else if you want to be truly deeply informed and you know knowledge is power you know guard it well trust me you'll want to pay attention so we're going to grab our nano uh, our nano and then first thing to do is we're going to upgrade our gun and our armor okay now we're going to go here down to here and we're going to take a look let's see uh yes rage again it's an aoe knock Top back take that another rage take that what a fight. take that more knock back damage we'll take that you start to see where what i'm talking about okay so there now we've got tons of of what we're doing okay now bear in mind this boss does do flame damage so we're going to skip this point pop this pop pop he's running in doing his thing check this out look at all those ads those ads are melted look the, the annoying pop in that, that that attacks you for the halloween event is dead in seconds when we're going to shoot the gun because that's where his known damage is see the ads are not a problem anymore but see i can purposely just there you go ads are dealt with ads are dealt with i know this is why i said don't worry about med kits because one of one of one of dead cuts abilities is he's when he crits there's a high chance he's you're gonna drop a med kit they're gonna drop a med kit there you go that round oh here we go See this damage? Look at that. And in three, two, one. He's dead. First boss is beaten. We'll grab all these little extra goodies. Okay, we'll grab that. What's this one? High power. All right, we'll take that. Now, again, all that does. Ooh, wow factor. No, we'll take wow factor. Actually, no, we'll take high power. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, wow Factor's a good sniper rifle, but I just realized I'm not on a character that, that gets any benefits from, from sniper rifles. So we're going to wait. Hop over. Woohoo! See? And I'm going to grab that. Increase damage from an attack strength but by another additional 10%. Again, you just saw me obliterate a boss that quick I'm feeling lucky. okay and again so we're gonna go here once armor again don't don't bother with with, with. Oh, there it is yes thank you that's all i needed and you know what? i'll take the shock affliction all right so we're gonna reload now this boss uh does a lot of charges now again to beat this boss okay and even his superior version that you're going to come across okay there's a little trick that you can do okay and i'll show it to you all right so he's going to land do his thing roar Rawr. okay boom 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 pop that down okay when he dives like that you want to run to a pillar over here then try and throw again notice how my boy 
is literally doing his thing. Okay, that's fine. Let him throw his grenade. Okay. Now he's gonna try and do, try and do his jump, and he runs right into the wall. See, when he does that attack, and you're near the wall, there's a higher chance he's gonna butt, hit the wall and get stunned. And when he's stunned, there's really nothing he can do. And let's see, he's stunned. There you go. He's now on the ground, stunned. More stun damage. Look at those crits. Look at those beautiful, juicy crits. This is an AR, guys. This is not a a a. a, a this is not. Uh, uh, an LMG. If I was using... There you go. Let him do his thing. He's stunned. Again, he's going to try and do his little thing. Aim for his shoulder. And he's dead. There you go. Now, bear in mind, guys. I'm doing this by myself. You don't see a squad with me. Okay. What's that? We've got a couple of LMGs. Ammo pouch. Uh, Dragon on. No, I don't need that. Okay, again, like I said, I don't... I'm going to grab that. Nothing else. Nothing else. See? It takes longer for the aftermath than the actual fight does. Work that out. Again, you just got to understand. See, like I said, these pillars can only stop him. I think it's like once or twice. The one with the wood stops him twice. But the one without only stops him once. So you got to wait for that. There you go. Now my attack strength has gone up by an additional 20%. Oh, please let it be this one. I love this 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 egg chucking one. It is. All right, again, so do I really want to up my armor? No, I don't. So now I'm going to look over here. Excellent. Double fire. Excellent. The, 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 oh. That's what I'm my boy is going to do some damage now. Yeah, you know, what? I'll take the explosive reload. Now, again, notice we didn't buy any med kits because we didn't need them. Because, like I said, as I told you, one one of one of Dead Cut's abilities is uh, um, so. We're gonna, there we go. Then do his thing. Do his thing. Pop, 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 pop. We're gonna blow that up. See. In fact, I'm gonna toss a grenade. There we go. Let that DOT do its thing. There we go. Was there an egg? Yeah, it was an egg right next to me. Don't have to toss a grenade yet. It's still reloading. There you go. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, all the ads are dead. Yep, see? Boss is almost dead. And I'm using an AR. Get that annoying thing. Dead. There you go. Lovely juicy crits. And I haven't even switched out to the secondary weapon yet. There you go. Crit, 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 dead. And there we go. We've got some nice set of mods. There you go. I had to use one health kit, but guess what? That's a health kit that I already had picked up multiple times over, as you saw. There you go. So, yeah. You, you can do it, guys. Once you've got the appropriate mods, you can do the Tyrant runs. And you'll get anywhere between 15 to 20,000 Nerva. You'll get some blue mods that you can choose to either sell, recycle, or, or you know. And if you sell the mods, you'll make about another 1,500 to 2,000. There you go. All, there you go, 168,000 damage done, 39 damage down, almost 40,000 damage done at the Tyrants, uh, 4,000 Radia collected, uh, almost 2,000 Nevea collected, and I did it by myself. Granted, if you've just unlocked the Tyrant Blitz, you're going to struggle a little bit, and you may want to do it with some friends or do it in, in, in a pub game. 
But once you're at the point where I'm at, you, there you go, I've got 1500 for doing that. Look at all these mods. There you go. The blue mods, I'm just going to sell. Purple mods, I will look at and then probably sell. There you go. High power, split ender, you know. And you're leveling up the weapons to unlock the additional equipments like like magazines, things of that nature. And of course, this is the Halloween event. I'm trying to save up all, all 2000 so I can get the um, costume. And then I will eventually get the smaller stuff later. See, I'm not worried about... I mean, you could buy the Nerva. I mean, I could buy a ton of Nerva right now, but I'm, I don't really need Nerva. I'm just showing you guys that it is possible that you can do it. So, again, go here. Check out all the stuff you've you've gained, things of that nature. And if you... Like I said, once you've maxed out a weapon, okay, like the Critic, I think he's maxed out now, so I don't need those shards. So let me just double check with Nothing Eli. Uh, critic... No, no, not yet. So I just need seven shards of the critic, and then it's maxed out. But the point is, guys. Okay, let's let's take a look at what we hauled in. Two two oh six is the the highest that you can get right now. So is there a two two oh six over here? No, there's a two two twenty one. Don't care about that. Two two oh four. Oh, twenty one twenty one seventy one. Yes, a lesser mod. Again. So now what I can do? Go to here. Go to batch. Go blue, 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 blue. Uh, useless purples. Nope. Useless purples that I'm not going to use. In fact, I'll keep that on to see what we roll with it. But uh, everything else, going to get go bye bye. So we now go battery cycle. There you go. 3,000 Nerva and 13 reroll mods. Okay. In fact, you know what? Let's go to that one that we found. This one, real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Augment. And we're going to go to the Augments. Companion Knockback. Companion Critical Damage. Companion Knockback Damage. Okay, it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. It's not the best, but it's not too shabby. Okay. And, I, and like I said, I'm, I'm not really... It's not a loss. It's not a complete loss at all. But like I said, guys, you can do it. Plus, at the same time, you are also getting uh, um, some components later on. Because there is a version of the of the, the Tyrant Blitz that you can do at higher levels, but you can only do them at maximum of three times a day. Um, you will start to unlock uh, equipment to unlock your um, your codex and make yourself even more stronger. And like I said, guys, um, I could swap out this runner. Unshielded damage, critical damage. Uh, that's just flat critical damage over AR damage energy damage and explosive damage now do i really want to do that let's see right now let's see what's doing explosive damage for me um my grenade and plus what crusher does versus me having a 15 percent critical damage chance uh, it's not a damage chance it's just critical damage so that's actually a good mod to run with the critter which has a a like a 60 has like if you max that thing out at, at, at full rank five level 30 you will crit and do probably 2k 3k damage per shot if it crits and it does six shot bursts so yeah you will drop someone so i'll keep i'll, I'll keep a hold of that that's a keeper for now yeah, again so we've got to go over to event center uh and of course the haunting of so-and-so and because -so, we've completed a mission so we're going to go over to the jobs there we go and we received a hundred of those and so technically i could you know buy two of these and that way i've got an additional ten thousand nerva so in, in essence you, you you can make nerva okay you and no, those quests are done for the day and i'm literally done for battle pass missions for the day so if i go to my jobs all i've got is weeklies left this one is prime nano nanos eliminated i'll get 60 60 grand nice this one is exchange mods purchase 200 so yeah i can actually do these guys uh and just keep playing defeat 30 rival runners uh again i'm not a big fan of pvp okay i'm not let me make this abundantly clear i'm not a huge fan of pvp i'm more of a pve player so if you're looking for pve help again please leave a comment don't you know just leave a comment in it for you know and if you're new around here hit the like button you know and, and hit the subscribe button i greatly appreciate it i will be doing more synced content for you guys and uh yeah so uh, until then guys 
Uh, I'll see you out there. Peace.